Hello and OMG, welcome back to my channel where today we have another fun lash video because I found some lashes at Walmart for under $4. So if you want to see what they're all about, then go ahead and keep on watching. Before you do though, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you get notified of every time that I do upload a video. I do a lot of lash reviews here on my channel, ones that you didn't think that you needed. So don't watch for free. Just subscribe, click the bell so you do get notified. You want to join my glam jury so that you get all the notifications of when I do upload. So with that being said, let's get on with the video. So I went to Walmart to do my um, grocery shopping. I like to go there to get my fruits and veggies. I always stop by the beauty section to see if they have any new goodies. And they had like the same lashes I had saw the previous time. There was a couple I wanted to try out, but a lot of them were like kind of like sold out. So like if I do review, it's usually like on one brand. So there was like a bunch of lashes that weren't like available. So what I did was, you know how like there's the lash section at, I was gonna say at Marshall's, at Walmart. I turned the corner into one of the other beauty aisles and I was in this section for Pro Fusion. Now, if you don't know who Pro Fusion is, um, from what I've seen, they are, I find their makeup typically at Marshall's, um, I, I think I have seen some of their stuff at Ross. Um, this was the first time I saw them at Walmart. I think I just haven't walked by the aisle and seen them there. Um, but I saw that they had some lashes for $3.98. So I got three right here that come in a double pack for only $3.98 each. So I paid a total of around 12 dollars 12 ish dollars. And when I saw these lashes, I was like, Ooh, they look pretty cool. I like that you get two for $3 and 98 cents. The only other lashes that come in a two pack that I have seen, um, at Walmart are salon perfect. And those range around $7. So these are a lot cheaper. So I wanted to see what they were all about and see if you guys have tried Pro Fusion lashes before. And if you have comment down below, let me know what you think of them. So let's get on with the video. I do have three that I want to show you. This is all they had. They had one more style, but it was just super ugly. It wasn't worth the time, and I wouldn't want you guys to waste $4, which is like a latte at Starbucks on something that I just wouldn't recommend to you guys on my channel just by looking at them. Okay, so for those of you who are not new here, you know that I rock eyeliner on one eye so that I could show you all what the lashes look like with, with and without eyeliner. If you are not new here, that is why I have eyeliner on one eye is to show you all what these lashes look like with and without eyeliner. So the first one we have is in the style Blow Them Away. Now these say that these are iconic 3D foam ink lashes that are handmade, cruelty free, and they're supposed to have a flexible, comfortable, and invisible band. This one does not have an invisible band. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's a lot bigger than any typical um, lash packaging I have reviewed here on my channel. It's kind of inconvenient how big the packaging is, especially if you're somebody like me and you kind of just store your lashes all together. It's blurry again. There we go. Um, but these are what they look like. You guys can see that it's not an invisible band. Let's go ahead and open them up. Do I not have my scissors here? Where are my scissors? Anyways. Very, very cheap packaging. This is basically just like a plastic, very thin thing that they put the lashes on, but this is what they look like. As you can see, that is not an invisible band. Let me take one out of the packaging. Yeah, there's no way this is an invisible band. So an invisible band is a band that literally is not black. As you can see, that is a black band. They are foam meek. What looks nice is that the lashes don't have a shine to them. Some brands that claim to be foam meek, as you've seen here on my channel, um, the lashes end up looking very shiny. I'm not sure why that is. Um, but we're going to go ahead and apply some glue. We're going to be using today to do the dual with the green writing. So I'm going to apply some glue and then plop them on with you. Okie dokie. So we have the glue on. Let's see how they go on. Huh. That went on pretty easy. We do always struggle with the right eye. Um, and that's just because you cannot hide the flaws when you're gluing a lash down without eyeliner. You pretty much have to get it on point up against your um, lashes and everything, or else you're gonna see the mistakes that you have made. So this is blow them away. Um, we do go in alphabetical order here, just in case you guys are shopping or you guys are writing down lashes that you want. Um, and I go and do a full wear test, so you guys will see. 
So this is what blow them away looks like. And now I'm going to turn to the left and right so you guys get a psych profile so you could see how the lashes curl and protrude out. So what you want to look is for that curl right there. So that's nice. Looks like it has like it looks like it has like a really cute like perm type of thing going on. Now these lashes, um, the band is very lightweight, so it does feel like as if you're not really wearing any lashes. For some reason though, the band is kind of itching my left eye. I don't know if that's the eyeliner or the band. Um, not too sure what's going on there. Now, as far as how comfortable the band is on the inner and outer corners of your eyes, it's not poking around, which is really nice. So, so far this lash is a very, very comfortable one. The lashes kind of tickle around your eye space. So if that's something that bugs you, then you might not like these. Now, as far as how they look, these are a very, very natural lash. Um, just for my type of taste, you guys know that I am a medium to dramatic lash girl. Um, these here are just way too natural for me. Um, they do not stand out up against the eye with eyeliner. Um, and I feel like you barely see them on the eye without eyeliner. These are kind of like a very subtle lash extension look where if you're the type of person who has existing lashes, but you want a little bit of length, um, especially a little bit towards the outer corner, then you will like these just for my eye shape and my taste. I don't like these type of lashes. They're a little bit too natural for me and they don't really do anything for my lashes. So um, I will put them to use just because I do have them. So I'm going to have to figure out how to put them to use. Um, but let's go ahead and move on to the next lash, which looks pretty. This one is called Oh My Lashes. This is what she looks like. This is my type of lash right here. Again, two pairs for $4. That is super cheap. They look really, really pretty. So I'm super duper excited for these. Hopefully they're a little bit better than these ones. I mean, there's nothing wrong with natural lashes. You guys know that I have done reviews on natural lashes and there are some that I actually really do enjoy. But for something like this, I mean, it's definitely worth the money. Um, maybe if you double stacked um, the second pair that comes with this one to get a little bit more of a dramatic look, um, you can get that out of it. But yeah, it's just not my, not my type of lash. This one right here, let's take her out. This one does not have an invisible band either. So I'm not sure where they're getting their info from saying that it's an invisible band, a little bit of the shine to the lashes, but very, very flexible, very, very flexible. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, take these off, apply some glue and we will try on Oh My Lashes. Okay, let's go ahead and put on Oh My Lashes. So I have high hopes for this one. And let me know if Profusion is a brand that you guys like. Um, I don't have any of their makeup products um, at all. And there's just, every time I've seen like their makeup products where I have seen them, like at Marshalls and stuff, um, just hasn't really caught my eye. Um, so I've never really just like picked up stuff out of my way from Profusion. Um, but yeah, let me know. Is it worth the money? Um, what you guys pay for? Let me know what you've tried. Eyeshadow palettes, whatever it is. Um, let me know what you all think of, um, their products. So here is Miss O oh My Lashes. What do you all think of her? Okay. So, um, these lashes are a little bit more, oh, I don't even want to say heavy. They're just a lot more thicker, not thicker, yeah, more dramatic, more dramatic than the first lash. So, um, with that being said, the band is lightweight. You do feel the lashes while you're wearing them just a tad, not a lot. What's really weird though, is that even though these lashes protrude up, you really don't feel them around your eye space unless you're literally looking all the way up. Like unless you're literally looking all the way up, you feel the lashes touching, um, your brows, the band is not poking the inner and outer corners of my eyes. So that's nice. And what I say by when I, what I mean, when I say by what I mean, when I say that, um, is that, um, say for example, you guys, uh, sneeze throughout the day, your eyes get watery, whatever you have sensitive eyes. Um, and the glue starts or the adhesive starts to kind of like wear off on your lash band. Sometimes the inner and outer corners of the bands will like poke and rub against your eyes, kind of irritates them is very uncomfortable. These so far don't give me those vibes. You guys very much know when your lashes do that, it's very uncomfortable. 
and it kind of makes wearing lashes um really dreadful um as far as how they look you guys i freaking love these like i knew it i knew i was going to love them i'm tripped out because i feel like the lash on the eye the eyeliner looks a little bit different than the right one it looks looks a little bit more spiky a little bit more pointy i don't know if it's just because of the eyeliner it's kind of giving like a different look but you could definitely rock this lash with eyeliner without eyeliner and i would even go as far to say with a little bit more of a dramatic eyeshadow look say if you guys were going to do like a light brown smoky eye a light black smoky eye because we're kind of like in fall vibes now so i'm wearing like my little cozy sweater i know it's august some people still say it's summer and not in my eyes it's fall time in my eyes that's why i brought it out um but yeah i think that this lash would look really nice like with a holiday look a very fall look some sparkle some glitter very very beautiful it reminds me of a dupe for the lash saucy from batty b lashes that is one of my favorite lashes from batty b so this one looks like it would be a nice dupe um so yeah if you guys can pick up oh my lashes profusion at your walmart please get her you will not regret it and you get two of them like you can't beat that so last but not least we have pretty shook this one to me look ugly. I'm sorry, y'all, but this is just not my type of lash. To me, these are the type of lashes that don't do any justice because, I mean, there's not really a shape to them. They are kind of tapered. They get longer in the front. Some people's eye shape looks really good with these, but just how the lashes are spaced out, I just feel like there's nothing strategic about them, so there's not going to really be anything flattering about them, but I could be talking too soon. Um, let's take her out of the packaging so I can show y'all um, what it looks like. Let's see. Okay, this band is very flexible. It's not invisible either, y'all. So the claims that these are an invisible band is not true. If you want to see an invisible band, those are the, my Salon Perfect reviews. Go to those. Um, but this right here you can see is a black band. The lashes don't, I mean, they have a shine, but not really in person. I mean, there is a shine, but it's not too bad in my opinion. Um, this is a very, very flexible, bendable lash. So just be very careful when you're cleaning a band like this. Um, these are the type that will tear right away. Um, so let me just take off um, all my lashes. And then lastly, we will put on Pretty Shook. We'll see if she has us shook. All right, fam. So we have the last lash here. Let's go ahead and apply her. Okay. Oh God, why does that lash, why is it standing up like that? Hold on y'all. Okay, well, I think that's just how it goes, but okay. <laughs> this is um, pretty shook. So what do y'all think of her, y'all shook? Has nice protrusion. Okay, so as far as how the band feels, this is, I want to say, this lash feels lighter than the first one. Um, the only thing that's super annoying is the right lash. I don't know if this one was just made differently, but this one stands up a lot more than the left one. So what feels super annoying is as I'm looking straight ahead, the lashes are literally poking up towards my eye space. It doesn't hurt. It's kind of a tickle, but it's kind of super annoying. Um, as far as how they look, oh wait, band is super lightweight, not poking inner and outer corners of your eyes, which is obviously very nice. I just feel like these look like two different lashes. Like the one on the right looks just like like literally the lash is just like exploded up like that. The one on the left is a little bit more flattering. It kind of just, you know, angles with my eye. It kind of just sits naturally and almost gives the eye a somewhat very natural cat eye look, even up against the eyeliner. I'm not sure though why this lash on the right is like super standing up though like that um, because it doesn't really do anything for my eye. Like this one looks kind of like, 
I don't know, like it looks smaller and then this one looks bug eyed. Like, do you guys see that or am I tripping? Um, but as far as how the lash looks, aside from maybe the right one not being made correctly, um, I actually do like this lash and I'm going to judge it based off of how it looks on the eye with eyeliner because I think this one was just made wrong. This is a really nice natural lash. And again, I'm not a natural lash person, but what I like about it is that it has layers. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it looks like it's almost double, triple stacked. Um, I think it looks cute up against eyeliner. You can't really see it. So if you do like a very thin eyeliner, you could totally get away with this lash, but I feel like it would look better with out the eyeliner with a very, very subtle look. Like for those days where you're doing like your no makeup makeup looks. Um, so yeah, let me put on some eyeliner on the right eye and then I will be back to give you my verdict on these pro fusion lashes at Walmart two for a little under $4. Okay, so I am back. Eyeliner is on the right eye. As you can see, the lash looks more symmetrical, right? Because we have the eyeliner on. It doesn't look crazy, but let's do a recap. So the first lash was a little bit on the natural side. The second one was a little bit more on the dramatic side. The third one was natural, but weird because the right eye just looked crazy without eyeliner. Um, but altogether, you get two pairs of lashes for $3.98. I think that is the cheapest pack of lashes I have reviewed here on my channel for that pricing let alone it is worth it even though I did not like the first lash I do think that these lashes are beautiful and I think that say for example you buy them and you don't like them I think that because you get a second pair if you cut it in half maybe like stack the lashes um, give yourself like a double layered multi lash look you actually might come up with a better lash than what you like. Like for example, the first lash, I didn't like it. So what I would do is cut the second pair in half and probably glue on the edges, the half, the half strip of lash. And it'll give my lash maybe a little bit more of a cat eye look. So that's what I'm saying. You can kind of like manipulate these lashes to your liking because you do get two pairs. So I actually really enjoyed these lashes. So far I like Profusion. Now I'm more and then willing to try their other products. So let me know if you have and if it's worth it. So with that being said, my verdict is guilty of being worthy of your dollars. Go to Walmart, cop one of these lashes. You will not regret it. It's super cheap. It doesn't break the budget. So anyways, I hope that you all found this video very informative. Please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell to so get notified of every time that I do upload a video. Please just always be kind and spread peace love and happiness. I will see you all in my next video.